Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, as many of you probably saw, I got a new bike. Uh, I got a 2023 Honda CRF 250R. Um, I've rode it, I have about two hours on the bike. Um, so far I'm gonna share my thoughts and how I feel about the bike and if it's a good bike for you guys and how you guys feel. So this bike, comes equipped with a DID chain. Um, you get DID Dirt Star rims. Um, you also get um, Showa forks. Um, you got the Showa rear spring and you got the Showa forks. Um, so a little bit how I feel about the forks. So um, when they, from the factory, they have it stock 11 clicks out and that was a little stiff for me, like as I was hitting jumps and whatnot. And so when I was hitting the jumps, it felt like really stiff. So I brought it out 12 clicks and that seemed to help a lot. Just made it a little bit softer. Um, but yeah, and I haven't really messed around with the sag or the real sh rear shock yet. Um, but yeah, um, so it comes with electric start. Um, obviously and you have your mapping which is your blue button and your kill switch um, comes with a really nice clutch perch um, it's super easy to adjust but I have it really dialed in right now but nice front brakes they come with Honda's been putting these front brakes on them for years and rear and brakes just are awesome like I love them and they're so like really touchy, but that's how I like mine. Um, only thing that is not stock on this bike is the hour meter. And there's like, you can just tap it and then it will show you. It has 0.8 hours, but I got the hour meter like an hour after I've been riding the bike. So I just add an hour to it on whatever that says. But um, the exhaust, Sounds awesome. I'll give you a sound test here in a little bit and so you can hear it. Um, the suspension's really nice. I like, that's my favorite part about it. But the one thing I did when I got mine is I went through and I re-greased the linkage. Um, as you can see, probably the grease around, greased the brake, rear brake lever. Um, swing arm bolt. Um, I greased the front axle, um, the rear axle. The longest part was probably the linkage because there's so many different grease points you can, you, where you need to put grease and where you should. But that's probably what took the longest, um, which I highly recommend for you guys if you get a new bike is regrease everything because when I took the axles out especially, there was like no grease at all. They put like a very little bit on from the factory and that's not good enough at all so i would highly recommend putting grease on um it'll save you in the long run but um it comes with the radiator louvers um the graphics i really like a lot the hrc um they come with the rental handlebars the um fat bars um, i really like the bend in these they look really good all around really good handlebars. Um, obviously, stock Honda grips, um, stock grips, but I love, there's something about the stock grips, just the half waffle, I just love them. But yeah, and then the plastics, um, just obviously stock, I love those. Um, it's a big learning curve for me because I came from two stokes, so I gotta figure out all this electrical stuff and whatnot. So like the batteries here and you got all your fuses and stuff over here and, and the valves will be something new for me, but yeah. And, and it looks really good. Honda really, really did a good job on making the appearance look really well. Like this coating on the side, side covers and whatnot. And it just, it looks really good. Um, as you know, in 2022, it was pretty much a brand new bike. So the frame and everything was completely different, but, and then obviously 2023, um, has changed a little bit, 
Um, I've changed the oil in it, which I recommend you doing after about two hours, just to help with it being brand new and whatever and whatnot. But oil filter is right here. Took that out, didn't take long at all. Um, you have to take the skid plate off to um, get the oil drain bolt out. And you only have, so on the 23s, they did change one little thing. On the 22s, there was only one, um, there was, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> there was two fill, um, fill parts, fill, uh, yeah, fill holes. And they changed it to only one on the 2023, which is really nice, really easier, much easier actually. But yeah, I, I really like this bike. Um, overall, it's, it's a really nice bike. Um, but yeah, I'll do a walk around and let you guys look at it. So yeah, there's your sound test. Um, another key feature um, this thing has, which I really enjoy a lot, is launch control. Um, it really helps me out a lot when doing starts. Um, you just, all you, all you do is when it's on, you hold it down, you pull on the clutch, you hold the start button down, and then this thing over here will flash purple. And then that's how you, that's what indicates that you're in launch control. Um, you don't blip the throttle very much or it will disengage launch control, but I will show you an example of that here in one second. So the bike is running and now I'm gonna hold down on this. Watch this light over here. See, blink purple. So that's what indicates you're in launch control. Now I blip the throttle a little bit. Now it's off. So yeah, it's a really nice bike. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, the goal is to hit 50 subscribers by the end of the month. Um, so if you guys can make that happen, I'd really appreciate it. Um, share the video with anybody you know um, on the road to getting monetized. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy my journey on this new bike. I will be uploading a lot, riding videos, maintenance, pretty much everything you can think of. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.